Have you tried to search for tickets for the Harris Waltz rallies? Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it's called Basic Blue because I try to talk things, talk about things in a basic way. Uh, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and like this video to let me know I'm doing a good job. Um, yeah, so go ahead and I'm sure that you haven't actually tried to do this. If you're right leaning, try and actually do a search for tickets, okay, for the Harris Waltz uh, campaign. You'll find that the Trump campaign is very easy to find in terms of tickets. But if you do a search for the Harris Waltz uh, rally, you know, Harris Waltz rally ticket schedule, whatever you want to call it, I have been searching and searching and searching for the past couple days to find an actual link. So this is what I am surmising in this video. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a rant, but it appears that these rallies that Harris and Waltz are, are creating, <laughs> uh, you know, they're, they, they must be invite only. That's the only thing I can figure out. I would love it if one of you can leave a comment um, you know, letting me know, well, yeah, I'm, I'm registered as a Democrat and I received this email and that's how they're doing this. Because from a right-leaning perspective, I, I find it very telling and odd that if you're trying to win an election, why would you not post a link right at the top of the Google search results? I mean, we know that Google is left-leaning, right? That's been shown. And why would they not be posting links? This is very uh, revealing to me. This is, it's a red flag, or maybe it's a blue flag, one or the other. But why is it that if you do a search, you know, try different things. I've tried to, uh, I made several X posts about this. If you guys don't follow me on there, go over to X. It's a great site. It's right-leaning instead of the left-leaning, you know, YouTube and all the Facebooks and stuff that you guys like to do. Go check out uh, Basic Blue on X, okay? I have the same handle on there. And you'll see I've made several comments about this. And you'll notice that when people that have responded to my posts that are left-leaning, all they can do is lob insults back at me. That is very telling to me. If you want to try to grow your party, if you're trying to win this election, why would you not be advertising as much as you possibly can about how to attend these rallies. Let's pretend that somebody's independent and maybe right on the fence. Maybe they are quite bothered by uh, a lot of the things in Trump's past. I myself didn't like the fact that he got convicted of all those felonies just because I have kind of a, a, a past with a, a particular person in my life that is a convicted felon. And I don't really like having to interact with this person. Okay, so when I hear the term felony, I think, well, uh, yeah, I know it was kind of a setup, but at the same time, I just don't like that, that that got attached to Trump. So let's pretend for a second that maybe I'm on the fence. You know, maybe July 13th didn't vastly affect my opinion. How would one go about attending these rallies? You know, especially if you're an independent. So I want somebody to comment on this video and let me know, oh, I'm registered as a Democrat or independent, and I got this email saying I could attend this event. If you don't believe me, try to do a simple search. And if you're right-leaning, I'm going to make a bet that you haven't actually tried to do this. Do a search for Harris Waltz tickets, rally, schedule, whatever you want to call it. You'll notice the same thing I have. The MSM, mainstream media, okay, all those links will populate from your search results. But if you click on any of those links, there's just like standard kind of scheduling. Like, oh, well, she's going to be in Detroit. Oh, she's going to be in da-da-da, this, this town, that town, whatever. Okay, but how does one actually go about attending those? If you wanted to actually go, you know, let, again, there's got to be some people out there that are undecided still. So I think the point of this video is... A lot of you have already sensed that there's kind of like this uh, fictitious quality to some of these events. Well, why is it that you can't find a, a simple link? You know, so this is what I would encourage a lot of you to do. Okay, first try what I'm saying and see if you can prove me wrong. If you can find links, say you're wrong. 
Okay, here's the link. Because I've been trying to do that on X, no one has been able to provide an actual link to the Harris Waltz tickets, rally schedule, anything like that in terms of actual dates, uh, times, you know, how to sign up, how to, how to get involved, anything like that. I find it very telling, okay, that when I brought this up on X, the people that are left-leaning will simply lob insults back at me saying, well, you don't know how to use the internet. Okay, no, I do, okay, <laughs> I've used the internet quite a while now. And all of you know how to use it too. So try to do what I'm saying. Do it as a test. If you don't think I'm telling you the truth, open up a browser page right now. And like I said, if you're right-leaning, why would you have like a, a reason to even do this? I mean, you probably don't want to attend one of the rallies. Okay. But I'm trying to get people to wake up a little bit to the fact that if you're trying to grow your party and it's a really close election, then why would you not put that at the top of the search results if I simply type in Harris Waltz tickets, schedule, rally, you know, whatever keywords you want to use? Maybe I'm just retarded. I don't know. But I'm trying to do this and I've made posts about it. And, you know, I think it's a, like I said, a red flag or a blue flag or whatever you want to call it, that this sticks out to me. It seems like you would want to make it super obvious. There should be like all kinds of links that show up. So I find it very odd, you know, and I would love if somebody out there that watches this could test this out. Maybe it's the cookies or something that are on my browser that are preventing it from showing up. I mean, there's a lot of different things that Google has done. You know, like if you just typed in Trump assassination attempt, they were uh, censoring that for a while. Facebook was censoring the, the photo, you know, of Trump pumping his fist. So could they be trying to uh, conceal the fact that, you know, if the general public was allowed to attend these events, well, geez, maybe there would be a little bit more footage, right? Because uh, one of the recent events that Harris did, I forget which one it was, but she was at the airport and a lot of people are analyzing the footage and she, they look at the phone images on those different uh, scenes and they say, well, the phones don't show like that they're recording. I don't know. You, you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but I'm just saying that this is like another kind of clue, I guess, that some people, a lot of people don't seem to be noticing. So if you guys want to call me weird, that's fine. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, a lot of people do think I'm a little odd. Okay. <laughs> But in, in, in this particular uh, realm that we're in now, I guess I'm, to use a cliche, I'm trying to think outside the box here. And I just want to know, is it something that I'm missing? Or are these uh, Harris events that are taking place, they, it, it seems like they're invite only. You know, or they're kind of a combination of invite plus paid actors, right? But it's very strange. If you watch uh, some of these rallies, you'll notice, well, A, they're not very diverse. You're talking about a lot of middle-aged women that kind of have the same type of this, if you know what I mean. They look, they look like me. Uh, so it's not very diverse. And so that kind of also starts to tie into something a little bit for me, too, is that these have got to be invite-only. They don't seem to be available to the public at all. So yes, this video is a little bit ranty. I just wanted to make a quick sort of, you know, hey, here's a homework assignment for Republicans out there. Like I said, to summarize, just try to do a search and see if you can find an actual link because I don't, I, I can't find one, you know, and, and to me, it's just very telling. Like if you're running a really close, you know, kind of tight race, I mean, you should be putting it right in people's faces how to attend these events. And yet, where's the links? See you in the next one.